Today I'm going to show you how to draw the phospholipid bilayer for the plasma membrane. So to start with, I'm drawing some circles across here. These are going to be the heads of some phospholipid molecules. Now I'm drawing in a protein that goes through both sides. So it's, um, it's an integral protein. Second one here, it's just penetrating into one layer. Um, it could be an integral protein, but I'll just call this one a peripheral. The next one's going to be another protein, and I'm going to add something to the top of it in a moment. Now I'm doing the heads of the other layer. Now I'm drawing in the hydrophobic tails. Should try and make them about the same size and try and make them come all the way into the middle. Easier to do on paper. You could draw these as squiggly lines because they actually do have kinks in them, in the uh, molecular structure. But really it's just a representation. Extend those bits. Now I'm adding on a chain of sugars. I'm just doing them as, as really kind of circles hanging off here. Uh, probably they should be uh, hexagonal to show that they're hexose each individual unit, but at this scale it doesn't really matter. So labelling the integral protein, this one's actually a um, polytopic membrane or a trans membrane because it goes through both. This one a peripheral membrane. Peripheral membranes can be, a uh, peripheral protein I should say, they can be just inside the membrane there or, or just attached to the surface. This protein's a glycoprotein. Um, it's called a glycoprotein because it has a sugar chain on the end called an oligosaccharide. Oligo means few, saccharide means sugar. Now I'm actually going to label this as a phospholipid bilayer. And I'm going to label some of these tails as hydrophobic tails and the hydrophilic head. I can also um, as I can label the whole thing, the whole one of these molecules as a phospholipid. One other thing I could do is to label the cytoplasm. And then we're done.